We use a distance formula to classify the triangle by its sides. So here's my triangle ABC. Um, and then you're going to use a distance formula to find um, what kind of sides there are. So if I find how find the distance of A to C, then I'll find how um, the length of this side. Then I can use the distance formula to find the length of that side. Again, do the same thing here. And then you're going to compare those distances, OK, the three sides. So <clears throat> that means I have to use the distance formula three times, right, for each of the sides. So there's A, and there's B, and there's C. Now, A, let me just write out A, is at point, here's negative 2, 1, 2, 3. B is at negative 1, 3, and C is at, um, here's 1, 2, 3, negative 1, okay? So let's find AB first. It doesn't matter which one you find first. So AB, I'm going to use points A and B, these two is going to be x2, and then I'll just write out the distance formula again here. So all you do is subtract the x's, square that number, and add a 2, that number. So a, b is negative 2 minus negative 1 squared plus negative 3 minus 3 squared. So negative 2 um, minus negative the same thing as plus. So that's going to be negative 1 squared is 1 plus negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 squared is positive 36. So this is going to be square root of 37. There's a, b. Okay. And then... Uh, BC B and C it's negative 1 minus 3 squared plus 3 minus negative 1 squared and then negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 squared is 16 plus okay this is going to be 3 plus 1 that's 4 this is 16, and then that's square root of 32. Um, this can be simplified. Okay, so remember um, last lesson, if you want to simplify radicals, square roots, then you have to write this down. You could do um, factor tree. So this is going to be 16, and this is going to be 2, or you can just do 8 and 4, doesn't matter. Circle if it's prime. Now, 16 here, this is a perfect square, so I can just go ahead and do that. But just to show you, it's going to be 8 and 2, or any 4, 4, doesn't matter. 4, 2, 2, 2, okay? Uh, whenever you have two of the same number, okay, it's going to come out of the square of the radical 2 uh, a single time. So then it, as long as there's two of the same number, it comes out um, as 1. So then that comes out as a 2. These come out as a 2. And then this one's still left, right? Whatever's left has to stay inside. And then whatever came out, okay, 2 came out here and 2 came out here, that becomes 4 root 2. Okay, and then again, you know that 16, it's 16 times 2. We know that because 16 plus 16. And then um, just do that, okay? That's BC. And then AC is going to be negative 2 minus 3 squared plus negative 3 minus negative 1 squared. So this is going to be negative 5. 
negative 5 squared is 25 plus, this is going to be negative 2 because it's going to be plus plus, negative 2 squared is 4. So this is square root of, so okay, let me just write it here, AC equals square root of 29. And this, it doesn't have, um, you can't simplify that anymore. So now that I used, finished my distance formula, okay, applying the distance formula to each of the sides, AC was uh, square root of 29, uh, BC is 4 root 2, and then AB is square root of 37. Now see how all th three sides are different? Okay, the whole point is to classify the triangle by its sides. That means it's either going to be scalene, isosceles, or equilateral triangle. Since all three are different, we know that this is scalene. Scalene triangle, okay? And that's your answer. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educated.com.